Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of usable vending machine, which is being made by user Sinal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, these. They're vending machines, and as the name of the mod would suggest, they are in fact usable. They are not just some decorative item to be thrown into your settlement. They can actually be used to purchase various goods, which uh, you can probably guess what those goods are, considering we have a milk vending machine, a cigarette vending machine, and a Nuka Cola vending machine. Uh, but nonetheless, a very, very cool indeed. And from a lore-wise perspective, I actually quite like it. Now, we'll get into more as to why that is momentarily, but first, of course, let's see how you build them. So, of course, we need to go into settlement mode, and you'll find them here in crafting. And all you gotta do is scroll right on over until you find the three current vending machines we have on offer. Again, we have the cigarette vending machine, which does require local leader rank 2 and science rank 1, and that is the same for the other two vending machines as well. But beyond that, this thing also requires a bit of circuitry, rubber, steel, gears, screws, and plastic. So they're not just easy things to produce, though <laughs> if you've played for any amount of time, like myself, you do have quite a, a large amount of those materials already. And now the milk vending machine is a bit harder to make. As you can see, it uh, does require a few more things, a little bit more circuitry, a few more gears, and a few more screws. Uh, but otherwise, still uh, fairly comparable. Now then, though, we get to the Nuka Cola vending machine. And this baby requires a whole lot of stuff to produce, including a fusion core and 250 bottle caps. Other than that, it has increased numbers of things like the screws, circuitries, etc. And yeah, yeah, it requires a bit, but considering it does sell you Nuka-Cola, which is a pretty good aid item in the game, I'd say it's worth it. And considering the requirement of a fusion core, bottle caps, the rank requirements of skills, etc., I actually think it's pretty well balanced, especially once we do go into the actual vending machines and take a look at what they sell, which technically, I mean, they're actually crafting things. They work like any of the crafting benches in the game. You go into it and you go to your category and you craft one of the items it has on offer, though you'll notice instead of materials, it requires pre-war money. And this is why I actually like it from a lore perspective, because imagine if you're one of these settlements, you're uh, fixing up an old vending machine, it's not exactly going to take caps, now is it? No, it's going to be built for pre-war money. And you may also be thinking, well, why is, say, a Nuka-Cola Quantum 20 pre-war monies, or pre-war dollars, however you want to put it? And that's another lore-friendly thing I like, because if you do know a little bit about the Fallout lore, before the Great War happened, inflation basically ran amok of the United States. I mean, you can see it in posters all over the game. I mean, uh, I think the prices on the comics that you collect is like $50 or something like that. So the idea of paying 20 for a soda isn't exactly off the charts for the pre-war economy. And so I like it from a lore perspective, I like it from a usage perspective, because, I mean, come on, we can buy ourselves an ice-cold Nuka-Cola Quantum, and who doesn't want that? That's just fun and useful. Now, of course, beyond the Nuka-Cola machine, we have, if we exit out of this slowly but surely, we do, of course, once again have the usable cigarette machine, which sells cigarette cartons and cigarette packs, and these maybe not so much useful as an aid item, but of course they do provide for you plastic, cloth, and asbestos, so it's an alternative way for you getting those materials if you need them via pre-war money, which is always useful. And again, another use for pre-war money, because I mean, I've got 550 of it in my inventory, I should probably just sell it, but now I can use it in vending machines. And that's, that's just fun. Now the last one, the milk one, is probably the least useful of all of them, uh, but still, I like it. <laughs> it sells fresh toilet water for a dollar, milk for two, and pre-war rotten milk for one. I would not recommend drinking that, because, well, look at that, a hundred damage it will do to you. 
probably not something you want. But <laughs> still, it's there if you want to give it a try. Ooh, boy, that would be awful. But yes, I really do enjoy these vending machines. I think it adds a little bit of extra spice to the game. Another cool item you can put in your settlements that actually does have a use. And there are more vending machines to come. The mod maker is hoping to add into the next version, the Etotronic 3000 and the Porta Diner to add in more food and drink options into the game. And they're also thinking of adding an easy version. Right now, they are doing, like I said, the inflation on the items. But some people have complained about that, saying it's too expensive, which, meh, I consider it lore-friendly, so I like it. But there may also be an easy version of the mod with cheaper prices. Personally, I'll stick with the inflation version, because it's lore-friendly in my mind. And beyond that, there are hopes of uh, potential other vending machines and perhaps in the future, the need for power. Right now, of course, they don't need to be hooked up to anything, but in the future, they may. And so, yes, that is the usable vending machine mod. If you would like to give it a try for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And I definitely say to go give it a try. It's a fun little mod that just adds a cool little extra thing into the world. And I think my favorite, though, is the Nuka-Cola machine, because, hey, again... Who doesn't like an ice-cold Nuka-Cola? But yes, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.